Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my channel, Maison African Motives, uh, still working on industrial electronics and two, uh, a continuation from the paper that we are working on, that is the January 2022 paper, now on question number four, where we are given uh, the following questions, having a total of 16 marks, as you can see guys. So we want to see how we can be able to collect these marks that we are given there. Okay, so without wasting much time guys, I'm just, I'm just going to quickly rush through the questions uh, the first part of the paper we are given on 4.1, that is 4.1, define the following terms. So we are given the terms where we are supposed to define. So I'm just going to give you exactly how the department uh, wants you to answer these questions. All right, so not wasting much time, 4.11, that is doping. So what do we understand by the term uh, doping? So that is what we have here. This is actually the deliberate addition of a controlled number of foreign atoms or impurities. So that is the addition of uh, atoms or impurities. Okay, so that is what we have on doping. I think it's a clear definition. Uh, 4.12 ionization. Ionization, what do we have there on ionization? Okay, so ionization, this is the process of gaining electrons and also it can be losing electrons. So the process of gaining and losing electrons, that is the ionization part. And we've got uh, actually uh, two marks for that because it's three times two. Okay, then the force of attraction with reference to atomic theory, with reference to atomic theory, what is the force of attraction? So uh, that is what we have on the force of attraction, the electrons being negatively charged are attracted to the positively charged nucleus. That is what we have. The negative, they are being attracted to the positive. So if you are given a negative, they are attracted to the positive. That is the force of attraction that we are talking about uh, in the nucleus part that is in atomic theory. So I think it's a clear definition also uh, that we have. Please make sure that you revise these definitions because they do ask these definitions actually. Okay. On 4.2, we are now given, there is a bias, that is the explanation. Bias is the external application of a potential to a device or a circuit. That is a definition of a bias. Draw a PN junction with an applied reverse bias voltage. Take note, a reverse bias voltage, whereby the negative is connected to the, uh, to the P type. Uh, and the positive is connected to the end type that is a reverse. But the first one is supposed to be a small reverse bias voltage is when just a small voltage is applied. How does the diagram look like? Okay, so that is what we have on 4.21. When a small bias is being uh, have applied, so like I was saying, uh, reverse bias, the negative connected to the P type, the positive to the end type. So this is where by a small amount of voltage is being applied. All right, what about when there is now an increased reverse bias voltage that is applied? When you increase, then the more depletion layer is going to be created. So that is what we are going to have on this one, whereby now we are seeing that all oh, this is now a depleted region that we are having. We are just having the, the positive, uh, like there is no flow of current that is going to happen there because this region is going to be more of a depleted. So the diagram, that is what you're having there. I think it's a clear diagram also. Uh, if there is anything that we do not understand, guys, on the comment section, let me know about that area so that we can uh, explain more on that part. But I think it's a clear uh, explanation or a clear answer that we have. The 4.3 part is to draw, take note, guys, draw a neat labeled graph. This is a graph that is to show only only this is the only the part that is important only the forward bias region of a pn junction diode okay we know that uh for the diodes that we have we can have germanium we can have silicon whereby gen the germanium is a 0 0.3 volts where it's going to start and silicon at 0 0.6 up to 0 0.7 volts where it is going to start so you're going to choose between either germanium or silicon okay anyways let me just show you how it is going to look like uh, this is what we have. Like I was saying, we are going to have two things here. We can have a germanium and silicon. Silicon at 0 0.6 volts and germanium starting at 0 0.3 volts. So that is what we have 
and also take note to label the voltage axis and also the current axis. That is for you to obtain full marks, which is uh, four marks for that to make a total of 16 marks from this question four of January, 2022, industrial electronics. So that's it guys from Amazon African Motives working on uh, industrial electronics and two till we meet again.